It's Nacelle with your ultimate fragrance destination. Thank you all so much for taking the time to tune into this video. And if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy New Year, friends. Thank you all so much for taking the time to tune into this video. I know I'm just repeating my intro, but I feel like it's been a while since I've actually sat down and talked to you guys. So that's what we're going to do today. And in addition, as you can tell by the title, I am going to be filming my top winter favorites of 2020 slash 2021. I know 2020 has been such an arduous, tumultuous, challenging year for every one of us, every single one of us in the world, and it was a year that was totally unexpected, and I feel like, you know, we need to push through. Like, we just need to continue pushing through. 2021 is a new chapter, so I pray that we all just close the chapter of 2020 as best as possible and move forward with a new hope and a positive outlook on life. I feel like 2020, although it was very challenging, it taught us a lot of important values that I feel like maybe were lost throughout time and take them into consideration as we travel through 2021. So with that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing and blessed new year with your family and your loved ones and cheers to hopefully a better year for for all of us. Another important announcement that I would like to make is we finally hit 10,000 subscribers and I am so 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 grateful to be starting off 2021 with a bang. It made me so excited to just see that number within these past few days because I'm not gonna lie even though I'm going into the new year with a positive outlook the first few days of 2021 have not been really great for me personally. There's just been some stuff going on behind the scenes. And so it's been kind of getting me down, but I'm trying not to let it completely get me down, you know, because the year just started. I'm trying to take it as, okay, Ness, just because 2021 is not starting off so great doesn't mean that the remainder of the year is going to stay the same. So. It was just really nice to see that number and again i'm so grateful for each and every single one of you and your continued love and support of me and my youtube journey i know i haven't really been consistent on my channel especially towards the later half of the year but like i said i am going to definitely get back on track because youtube is one of my businesses um i did establish a new business in case you guys i see your head <laughs> Hubs is being silly. <laughs> In case you guys didn't know, aside from YouTube, I did establish another business and it's a wax melt business and it's called Nessie Scented Delights. I do have a Facebook group page and an Etsy shop at the moment. Um, within this year, one of my goals is to actually open up my own domain, maybe go to Shopify. But as of right now, I am on Etsy. So in case you guys are interested in some yummy smell goods for your home, definitely go ahead and check out my Etsy shop and join my Facebook group page if you are on Facebook, just because that is where I always release like new scents that I'm coming out with and also the restock dates. Um, if you don't have a Facebook, however, let me know in the comments because I'm planning on establishing like a subscription newsletter service that will be delivered to you via email whenever I have a restock, just in case for those of you who are not on Facebook. Whew. But anyways, that's basically what's been going on. Um, again, I just want to apologize. I know, I know, I know I have been slacking on Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret. It's just my main focus as of right now has just been establishing my new business and it's still brand new. So it is taking up a lot of my time just because it's only me behind the scenes. Hubs helps me with the shipping process um, by dropping off the packages to the post office. But in terms of making the products to packing them, to labeling, to shipping, that's all me. <laughs> so it is like a one woman show as of right now. Um, so it is taking up a lot of my time. So hopefully within these first couple months of 2021, I can like get myself into a groove that will allow me to do both equally. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this top winter fragrances of 2020. Basically, I asked you guys in a community tab post which video you wanted to see first, and this one actually won majority. So I will say this list is actually different. It's different compared to my previous winter favorites. And there were a few scents that I wanted to include in this list because they're kind of like my winter staples, you know what I mean? 
but I've been realizing that lately I just haven't been reaching for them and there's nothing wrong with that it's not that I don't love the fragrances I still do I'm just trying to really focus on others and I'm really trying to finish well I know I'm never gonna actually finish everything I have because I have so much but I'm trying to focus on you know really using up a fragrance even if I'm not necessarily going to finish it up but just like really you know making a big dent in it so with that being said in this list it's gonna be it's gonna be different it's gonna be different than what you guys are probably used to so without further ado grab a snack grab a drink I have a cranberry juice here <laughs> and let's go ahead and get into these favorites okay so this first scent I'm actually really surprised with myself because ever since I purchased this when did I purchase this? Two years ago or something at this point? 2018? No, 2018 is three years ago now. Ooh, oh my goodness. <laughs> 2019, I think, is when I purchased this. 2019 is when I purchased this scent. To be honest with you, ever since I reviewed it in that video, I never really grabbed it ever since. So when I saw it, when I was picking out what scent I wanted to wear for New Year's Day, I decided to go with this scent and this scent is from Victoria's Secret and it is in Cake Confetti. So this is what this looks like right here. I love the packaging, it just has all sorts of confetti sprinkles on it and this is the accompanying body lotion. So the notes in here are very simple, it's just vanilla cream and marshmallow sprinkles. So it's just a very vanilla-y type of fragrance. and. Not gonna lie, it's not really spectacular on its own. Like, it's not like a groundbreaking sort of fragrance, but I do like this to pair with a lot of different other scents. I feel like because it's just a straight up gourmand vanilla marshmall marshmallowy, <laughs> a vanilla marshmallowy scent, I feel like it's like the perfect um, blending type of scent. So, that is what I wore on New Year's Day, and ever since I've kind of just been, you know, wearing it, and it's just Again, it's not a bad scent. Let me just grab a little paper strip here. Um, it's not a bad scent. It's just very basic. But it's a really, really nice vanilla. I'm not trying to take away from the scent itself. It's a beautiful vanilla. It's very light, as you can probably anticipate with like vanilla type scents. They do tend to be on the lighter side. But it's just, it's really nice. It's not overly sweet to my nose. It doesn't smell artificial, but it just smells very like fluffy and very marshmallowy. So that is the vibe that I get from Cake Confetti. Again, I just thought it was like a fun type of scent to ring in the new year. So that is a favorite of mine that I have been wearing a lot for this winter season. Now that I'm staring at my fragrances here, there's a lot of vanilla scents. I have been on this like big vanilla bakery type of kick. I normally am a huge bakery lover as you guys know, but I feel like lately I've really been into like wanting to smell edible and gourmand. So you're gonna see like a little pattern here. But in terms of this next scent, this next scent is again another one of those vanilla based scents and it's a funny story of how I actually came up with this combination. So this is Christmas Cookies from Bath & Body Works. This came out in 2019 as part of the... Why am I forgetting the name of the collection off the top of my head? I have to look this up because it's really bothering me how the name is escaping me. Land of Sweets, there you go, Land of Sweets, oh my goodness. So basically, this came out in the Land of Sweets collection. Um, I believe this came out again this year as an online exclusive. Don't quote me, I may be wrong. I haven't really been up to date with Bath & Body Works if I'm being completely honest with you guys, hence why there hasn't really been any Bath & Body Works or Victoria's Secret content. But the notes in here are creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel wood. So this to me, you really get the almond biscotti note the most, and I really get that caramely type of scent. It's really sweet, but it's also really nutty at the same time. So I lately have been mixing this scent with 
Whipped Vanilla and Spice from Bath & Body Works. So Whipped Vanilla and Spice actually came out in 2018 and as you can see I have made quite a dent in the fragrance mist here. I do have the accompanying lotion that I use as well but lately I've been enjoying this combination and I'm trying to remember the notes in here. I know there's honey, like a little bit of honey in this scent. It's a whipped cozy vanilla type of fragrance that's the best way that I could describe it with a little bit of cinnamon spice but it's mainly like a really nice comforting type of vanilla fragrance very fall as you can tell this did come out in the fall collection of 2018 but I've been mixing these two together because when I was looking for the spray to go with Christmas cookies I couldn't find it I only found this one so in my head I was like they'll probably work together right because they're both vanilla based scents so that is how I came up with this combination. I was looking for the actual pair to go with this, but I found this one instead and I just didn't feel like looking anymore. <laughs> so I went ahead and I just used this, but it's such a beautiful combination. I think it works because the sweetness from the honey in here and that cinnamon spice, it adds just a little bit more of like a cozy bakery touch to Christmas cookies from Bath & Body Works. So this is my next combo that I have been loving. So this next combination that I have here, I'm actually really surprised that this is in my top list because typically I don't go for this scent. This scent is just something that I have in my collection because I liked it, but I don't love it. But there's just, again, something about this year that has just been making me love this fragrance. So this is Frosted Coconut Snowball from Bath & Body Works. This is the lotion. I believe this is the packaging from 2019 or 2018. Ever since one of my subscribers has told me to look at the numbers and the first number is actually the year that it came out in, that has helped me out so much. So kudos to you. Thank you so much for letting me know about that tip. But this actually came out in 2018. So um, I believe that this is a scent that they do bring back every single winter season though. But this is what I'm working with. So the notes in here are frosted coconut, North Pole vanilla, winter freesia, snow kissed woods, and spun sugar. So to me, I always mention this as a scent that is perfect for you coconut lovers out there who want a winter version of a coconut. Um, this is just like that and it's absolutely perfect. It's not noticeably coconutty to the point where you're like, oh, this is like a winter or a spring type of scent. No, 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 no. This is very sweet and it has like almost like an icy touch. I know that probably doesn't make any sense, but it really is just like a coconutty, snowy type of scent. So I have been loving this, especially since we've been having like warmer weather than usual here, which I don't like. <laughs> it almost freaks me out because it's like, oh my goodness, it's not good because it just means like climate change, global warming, that sort of thing. So we've been having warmer weather here than usual. So that's why I've been pulling this one out because again, this is like perfect for a warmer, cold, wintry type of day, if that makes any sense. So I've also been layering the lotion with this scent here from Victoria's Secret. This is in Juniper Glow and it looks like this. The notes in here are white woods and sugared coconut. So that is why I've been layering these two. I personally don't have the lotion to accompany this scent, but together they smell really, really nice. Like really, really good. I will say that in this scent, the woods aspect is a very sharp scent and it's the most prominent feature of this fragrance. Whereas in the Bath & Body Works one, it's definitely more sweet and it's more coconutty. Um, so this one I think is a nice balance with the lotion itself because the lotion just gives more of a sweetness and it enhances that coconut scent that is in here more. Um, so that's why I personally like this combination. But yes, so that is my next combo. It is Frosted Coconut Snowball on its own or mixed with Juniper Glow from Victoria's Secret. So this next scent I'm gonna mention, and it's a lonely scent. And what I mean by that is it's lonely in the sense that I only have been using this specific form, but it's also a nice blender. And this is the classic Vanilla Bean Noel. Now this bottle, is really old, let me tell you. This bottle is from 2014. It's also a side note, how is 2014 seven years ago? 
seven years ago. Oh my goodness gracious. So yeah, this is from 2014. I'm almost done with it though. Look, I'm almost done. That's why I've been working on this bottle specifically because I'm almost done and I want to finish it this winter season. But this I've been using as a mixer because this goes with literally anything. Anything you can think of, it goes with. Um, I have been using this to mix with Christmas cookies, to mix with frosted coconut snowball, to mix with um, cake confetti from Victoria's Secret. Like I have just been using this nonstop as a mixer. So this kind of just sits out easy for me to grab, easy for me to just use throughout the day. Um, especially if I don't know exactly what I'm in the mood to smell like that day, I will usually I will usually just gravitate towards this scent. It is my favorite holiday traditions fragrance. I don't like winter candy apple. I don't like twisted peppermint. You will see that in my past videos and current videos, I've never mentioned those two scents and it's because I don't like them and I never purchase them. Ever. I never purchase them. I always get Vanilla Bean Noel if I were to grab something from that Holiday Traditions line. So this, I'm really trying to, mm, I'm, <laughs> I'm really trying to finish this up. Do you guys have faith in me that I can finish this? Like, there's literally that much left. So hopefully I can finish that up. But yeah, so Vanilla Bean Noel, that's a classic staple. You guys cannot go wrong with that scent. Okay, so let's take a break from the vanillas for a little bit. This scent here, I tend to wear specifically in the month of January, and even just by the packaging, you'll see why. This one right here is Pink Mango Spritzer, and it looks like this, and then this is what the fragrance mist looks like. So this is a very fruity scent, but the notes are Iced Pink Mango, White Cranberry, Fresh Pomegranate, and Fir Balsam. I love this scent. I love this scent because it's a very wintry mango scent. You know how I said Frosted Coconut Snowball is like the winter version of a coconut scent? This is the winter version of a mango fragrance. So if you're somebody who loves your juicy, fruity mango scents, this scent is a must have. It's so good for the winter season because I love, I love, love, love the added note of that balsam in there. It just, it's so crisp. This scent is so crisp and I just, I love it so, so, so incredibly much. It's so crisp yet it's very tart because there's a lot of tart fruits going on in here. You have cranberry, you have mangoes, and you have pomegranates. So it's a lot of tartness, it's a lot of crispness. <laughs> I don't wanna say crispiness, but you guys know what I mean. Like it's a very fresh and outdoorsy type of fruity fragrance. This scent is very beautiful. Um, they haven't brought this scent back out, but it is really, really nice. So if you can get your hands on it, I do recommend it. You guys might be surprised, but Champagne Toast is not on this list. I actually don't own Champagne Toast in body care because surprisingly, it's okay to me, but only okay to have it in a hand soap. Like that's pretty much it. Um, it's not something that I wanna wear on my body all the time just because to me it's just okay. And I'm trying to really be specific this year. I don't wanna buy scents that are, that are just okay to me. I'll buy them for the sake of reviewing because it is my job, but I'll probably end up just either selling it or giving it away to you guys in a future giveaway. Going off on a tangent, Pink Mango Spritzer is another one of my favorites for this year. Oh, okay, this one. This one right here. This is Hubs' favorite scent. Hubs loves this scent, and I don't know why. He just, he really, really loves this one, and I love it as well. This one is called Into the Night. I do have an individual video review on this scent. I will leave links in the description box as well as on the screen. But again, my husband loves this scent. It's so, so good. Very sexy, and it's very, um, seductive like it's just it's a really beautiful date night perfumey type of scent to me this is a very much evening scent it's very much for the evening only i don't recommend this for if it's just like a daytime thing and you're just running errands just because it smells very exclusive you know what i mean it smells more for like a formal occasion type of thing, but it is very glamorous and you can even tell by the packaging it's very glamorous. So into the night, the notes in this fragrance are raspberry noir, 
amber crystals, velvety rose petals, creamy patchouli, and mocha musk. So very complex notes, but it just, it's so good. <laughs> like it's, it's a very rich fragrance. It's very indulgent. You do have your heavy raspberry notes in there and you also have the patchouli, you have the musk, you have a little bit of that rose. It is a deep and heavy fragrance and normally I'm not a fan of rose, but I will admit that the rose in here is so beautiful because it's complemented very well by the other notes. Oh, it is just so good. I also pinpoint that ambery note in there. Amber is one of my favorite notes when it comes to fragrances um, for the body. It's just very, very beautiful. And this is just very feminine as well. So this, again, Hubs loves this. He goes crazy for this scent whenever I wear it. And I highly recommend this one. So yeah, this is Into the Night from Bath & Body Works. So taking it back to another fruity scent that I've been loving, I think this is the last fruity scent on my list. This one I'm actually surprised. I'm very surprised that I have been wearing this one a lot. This is in Pure Seduction Frosted. So this is what that looks like. And the notes in here are Frozen Tangerine Pink Marshmallow. So this to me, it's very sweet. I will admit, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with Pure Seduction and Love Spell from Victoria's Secret because they are so sweet. And it's almost like headache-inducing type of sweet. And so I know they can also come across as smelling juvenile. It's a very classic throwback type of scent for a lot of people because it's a scent that they wore back in high school and middle school. It's very beautiful. It's very, very feminine, which is perfect for, you know, if you're looking for compliments and stuff like that. Um, but it's just, it's very sweet. So again, I've been surprised at myself for why I've been wearing this, but it does smell really nice. The scent, the longevity of this one, um, I don't really speak on longevity that much anymore when it comes to my mists because it does vary from person to person. It really depends on your body chemistry. Um, and I've been noticing more recently with Victoria's Secret scents in particular, they don't last as long um, as some of like the older ones that I have. So this one doesn't really last that long, but this is on the same lines of Pink Mango Spritzer, except instead of being a mango scent, it's a tangerine type scent, but still it's very sweet. This one is more fresh outdoorsy and it's more crisp than this one is, but it's still a really nice wintry, sweet, fruity type of scent. Yeah, it's really icy as well. It has that icy frozen type of quality. So Pure Seduction Frosted is another great one that I have been loving. In that same collection, oh my goodness, I remembered when I reviewed this line, a lot of you guys went crazy for this scent and I agreed 100%. This one is still to this day one of my favorites for the winter time because it's just so unique and it is in Bare Vanilla Frosted. So I do have the lotion here. This scent sold out super, super quick when it first came out. But it's just, it's so good. The notes are black sugar and fresh mint. So I was very intrigued by this black sugar note because it really is a different type of sweetness. It's not your typical pink sugar or even a blue sugar type of sweetness. If you're familiar with blue sugar, it's essentially the masculine version of pink sugar. Um, but this is black sugar and it really is different. There's almost like a spicy quality to this, spicy yet refreshing from that mint note that's in here, but it's so beautiful and it's such a gorgeous wintry type of fragrance. Again, it just smells very, very sexy. Um, and a lot of you guys agreed with me on that as well. But again, it's just absolutely stunning. This is a very, very unique fragrance. I feel like this would go well layered with a lot of higher end perfumes. Um, if you are someone who's like myself who loves your perfumes, I feel like this, like especially if you're just, let's say using the lotion for example, this would be amazing layered with like an actual perfume if you didn't wear the mist. So Bare Vanilla Frosted is another one of my favorites. Again, I whip that scent out every single winter season because it's just so stunningly unique. 
And these last two fragrances actually go hand in hand together. This is in Christmas Cocoa and Mint. I have the Mist here and the Lotion. And then of course you can't have Christmas Cocoa and Mint without Hot Cocoa and Cream. So I do have the Body Cream with this one as well. So these are just two very chocolatey type of scents. I've said before with Christmas Cocoa and Mint, this gives me like a tingling sensation because of that mint aspect in here and I thought it was really weird. It it felt like oddly satisfying though because it was like really refreshing so I don't know I never got that feeling before when it came to other mists but this one is really good and then of course when it comes to chocolate scents you can't have you can't have a chocolate scent without hot cocoa and cream um, so these two I'm just kind of throwing them together at once because they're just they're just really really good so that concludes my top winter favorites of 2020 slash 2021 Oh my goodness, I love this list. Like I said, it's it's pretty different from what I'm personally used to with a few, of course, old classic favorites thrown in here. Um, but yes, so thank you all so much again for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Comment down below, what are some of your winter favorites? And again, I know I'm slacking on my reviews, but again, 2021 is gonna be the year, man, where I just, I get my crap together and I come back full swing in my game. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> Stay tuned because I will be filming my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. It's gonna be a massive one, and yes, it's going to be open internationally. So stay tuned for that because I will be making a separate video on that. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to include. Um, if there is anything else, I will include it in the description box down below. So definitely go ahead and check out the description bar. But yeah, so thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. I love you guys so much, and I will chit chat with you all in my next video. Peace.